guys, welcome to a new video. So as you can see by the title today, we are discussing a nice topic. So this idea came up to me because I was on Facebook and I am in several um, Berlin groups, like people like share experience, share recommendations, you know, share stories, whatever. And I've been seeing a couple of posts saying that people really struggle to live in small apartments with their partner. And as you probably know, if you follow me for a while, and I also have a video showing how my house is, the house that I'm, you know, currently in and I'm filming in, uh, it's quite small, it's 24 meters. And I do live here together with my partner. So I decided to do this video and share some tips that we personally do and try to, you know, do every day so that we are in the best, in the best place. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I even made like an organized papers for you guys. So we're going to discuss these tips for you today and I hope this helps you and I hope it helps you be more comfortable and happier on your mini mini apartment like we are. <laughs> so let's begin, shall we? So my first tip would be organized. I know this is like very fundamental, but when you're living in a very, very small space, you have to be organized. And the more messy the place is, the more messy like your thoughts are gonna be and the more upset you're gonna be. And if you're upset, you'll eventually get upset with your partner as well. So that leaves me to the second tip, which is find a place for everything and then keep it in there. <laughs> And also invest in storage for everything that you own and need. For example, right now we are saving up money to buy a bed, but with storage under like those that open like this. And then you have a bunch of storage near the ground that you can storage a bunch of stuff. So we are currently saving for that, which I'm very exciting. Look for like organizing baskets, like, I'll give you an example, random, I have like one here, you know these plastic baskets? We have it everywhere in the house, for example in the kitchen counters, like the on top, we have a lot of things storage there, like food and such, and they're all in baskets, which gives you a sense of less cut, like cluttery, you know, less, you know, tight, full of things kind of vibe. If you have everything organized in baskets, you don't have to be like extra extra careful on what you put in there or you don't put in there just make sure everything is like in baskets and you you don't see so much stuff on your like vision if you have too much things on your vision it's just gonna make the sensation that the space is even smaller than it is and we don't want that <laughs> you want to feel you know free on your space and enjoy your space as much as possible so do invest in those kind of things like although the space is small don't let the small space like stop you. <laughs> For example, I have many hobbies. You guys know that I like scrapbooking, I like painting, I like drawing, I like to play games. And although we are in a very small space, uh, my boyfriend does know that I really like to be creative and, and do stuff. So he always tries to accum accommodate, accommodate? How do you say that word? But yeah, he always tries to make me feel good and do what makes me happy as well so we managed to find place for storage for my things that I like to do and I always find a way to you know do it and I'm not like oh my god I'm just gonna do this when I have a bigger house because if I do that I will not feel comfortable because I will not be doing what I what makes me happy you know so yeah for example I <laughs> Uh, before I was like I can't do paintings because this house is so small I'm afraid that I will get things like ruined because of paint but then I uh, like whew, an idea and I discussed it with my boyfriend and we decided that we're gonna get like a plastic thingy to put on the floor and then I will be able to do the paintings on the floor and if there's like painting or everything it will fall on the plastic and it's okay so yeah I can still do it which is really cool so again don't let it stop you if you have anything to do you know just get it done also if you like things that take up more like actual space like for example I don't know uh, sports or anything you can always do that out of your home I know sometimes it's uncomfortable sometimes you spend more money but don't let it stop you you know just 
continue living do what makes you happy <laughs> okay so next thing is it comes along with the first tip which would be be organized but this tip is like you can be organized but still be very like laid back at the same time because if you get stressed with everything that is out of place with or with every little thing that is like not so correct or appealing you will get more upset with your partner with yourself and you're not gonna feel good so life is messy you know sometimes your house your tiny house will look messy and then it is okay you'll eventually organize it and it's gonna be okay don't let it upset you don't let it stress you just you know maintain that in the back of your mind like it's okay it's just a house it's just things we're gonna organize it eventually calm down okay that is my tip be a little bit laid back if you are like always constantly um looking for things to organize for things to be like perfectly you know in their place it's not gonna happen because you're living with another person another person doesn't view the same things as you do like they don't like we don't have the same vision <laughs> it's just gonna make you worse and make you feel not comfortable at all so next tip would be remember to be grateful and this is very important because in my case I don't know about you guys but in our case we are in a capital we are in a very big city with millions of people and with thousands of people that don't have a house they don't have anywhere to stay in and it's important to remember to be grateful that you at least have a space you have your own space to sleep, to eat, to do your basic needs and more, even more if you want to. So always like sometimes you gotta step back and be like, you know what? This is small, this is not the best, but but it, it's our own and it's and it's nice. In the end of the day it's nice. You still have a place to be and enjoy and yeah, it's very important to remember that. Next thing would be how to respect different schedules because this is very important. Why? Most people, it's very hard to get like the same exact schedules as jobs. For example, my boyfriend works mainly like evenings and nights and now I am working mornings and a little bit of the evening and then I, I come home. So usually my boyfriend gets home really late and he... He, ha he likes to game, for example, to video game, chat with his friends back from our own country. And I was like, I know I have to get, go to bed early, but it doesn't have to. And you shouldn't think, like, you shouldn't take away the joy of those things of your partner either. So what do we do to, you know, be able <laughs> to get the best of both worlds? <laughs> I got a sleeping mask, for example, and some hair plugs. I will show you. I always have them here. Yeah, I always have them near my um, my bed because I do wear them almost every night. So this is the sleeping mask. It's really comfortable. It has like a little space here so you don't like ruin your lashes because that's always been a uh, like a worry fact, fact for me. And also my ear bugs. I always like when I have days off I don't I don't care like I can't go you know later to bed I don't give a fuck <laughs> but when I do have to go early to bed and I have to wake up early I just put on my uh, sleeping mask I put my silicone uh, how do you call it silicone ear plugs yeah and my boyfriend is tries to be as silent as possible when he gets home he does his thing on his computer and it's fine, I don't, I don't hear it, I'm already asleep, so it's okay. And you're still, you know, giving the joy to your partner and you're getting your things done. So that would be my tip. And last tip, I really want to talk about this because I feel like people always try to get something to blame other than themselves. <laughs> I'll give you... A, a, I will explain it better. So, if things aren't working out for you guys, don't blame the space, don't blame the flat, the flat, don't blame the city. Like there are a lot of people that say, 
Berlin is really toxic. Berlin is like um, really not the best, not comfortable. Um, like I see a lot of people just bashing the city, and in the end of the day, is it's just it's just a place. It's just a place full of humans that live their own life. You know, you at the end of the day make your choices, you make your life, and you choose like the route, like the route, <laughs> route or route. I don't know. You choose your way. You know, and if you're blaming the city for your problems, like that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> You should focus on yourself, focus on your relationship, and just try to go and solve it from there. I, the last tip, my last tip would be just find what's really bothering you. Like, make like a list. If you want, you can make it like separate. You make a list, your partner makes another list. You both make a list, then you, pro like, you make it in priorities, like what's really like annoying you and bothering you uh, to the last ones that are not as much bothering to you and then you change them you fix them like life shouldn't be that hard and complicated and if things aren't work out it's usually because of a you factor not because what's actually surrounding you let's say that way <laughs> um, at least not in this adult type of situations that's what I mean so, yeah, I will give you also an example. Uh, before, I was really getting stressed, I was really getting anxious and uncomfortable because I had a job that was not giving what I needed to be given to me. I wasn't really enjoying it. I was feeling like I was not enjoying the city at all. I was like in a city that I love. Berlin is really nice. It has everything that you could possibly want. It has nature, it has city, it has activities, it has millions of people and everything. And I was not enjoying it a little bit. I was just working home, working home, working home, and that was not for me. And yeah, I, I, I wasn't enjoying it. So I just quit it. <laughs> yes, it took some time to get a new job. Uh, I I could do that because my boyfriend is is you know gaining enough money to kinda kinda um, support us both because I also have saved money um, but yeah it took some time but I did change it and I feel like now that I have a, this new job I feel like I've been working there for long but I feel like I'm so much happier so much more like free, like not so heavy all the time. And all that just sums up to happiness together. You know, if you're happy, your partner is gonna be happy. If he's not happy, like maybe he has his own reasons, but in a relationship, usually when it's like an actual good relationship with true love, people just, you know, it's a normal thing. If your partner is happy, you're happy. It's just like, you know. So yeah, that is it guys. That is my day my my dicks. I was gonna say my dicks, my tips. <laughs> this is my tips for you guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you find it useful, comment down below if it helped you in any way. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And like don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next. Bye guys!